Many landowners throughout Arkansas are fortunate to have the opportunity to own and enjoy forest lands. Now, through the help of both private and public partnerships, landowners have more opportunities to engage in active forest management that can provide economic and environmental benefits. Active forest management results in better quality trees, increased wildlife, and healthier forests. Well, our family arrived here in the 1850s and uh, this land had been in row crop agriculture for uh, most of that time. Uh, we started hunting here in, the, in 1978 and, and among other things we had a lot of quail here back then. It was nothing to be outside and hear quail whistling all around you and we hunted them of course and, and enjoyed it. In 1980 we had a severe drought that came early and uh, there was cotton planted here and, and I think the combination of those things along with the herbicide that was sprayed, we didn't hear another quill. Dad set the example in 1988 when he had the property enrolled in the, in the CRP program with USDA. But after the pine trees were planted, we didn't, we didn't manage them and we certainly didn't meet any definition of active management. We didn't know any better at the time. But just recently, I think in 2017, uh, we, I came to learn through, through a number of conservation partners about the resources and some of the programs that are available to private landowners. And that's when we entered into uh, to the Conservation Stewardship Program. The year before we began our, uh, our practices in the Conservation Stewardship Program, uh, Arkansas Game and Fish has a program called Acres for Wildlife. Through that program, uh, we, we partnered with them and did a controlled burn on each pine stand here on the property. That got us kick-started and prepared us for what we began to do in the subsequent years through the Conservation Stewardship Program. It's been amazing to, to carry out this five-year plan with, with the conservation partners. Almost 40 years to the day, we went without any quail here. We didn't see them, we didn't hear them. And just this past Memorial Day weekend, my brother-in-law and I were outside doing some work and we heard some quail right out here in these pine trees. Of course, we were ecstatic, but it, it really demonstrates the point in less than three years time that we've been able to work with these partners in conservation. After a 40 year absence, a species has returned. We, we, we couldn't be happier. Sustainable forestry management. Uh, there, there's a role for any number of, of facets to that. It's not just growing a tree and never touching that tree again. In fact, I've come to learn through these conservation partners, that's exactly the wrong thing to do. So harvesting timber, uh, certainly prescribed fire. Uh, all of these management decisions are part of it to try to, to make this forest and the land just as, as good as it can be for it to fully recognize its potential. Anyone who has been involved with any level of forestry realizes it's, uh, it's not a short-term proposition. You, you always have to look a long way down the line. If you're a landowner and you're not actively managing your property, all I can say is I, I think you're missing out. Being, being on the property and, and trying to do your, your best actively managing it is a very rewarding experience. Properly managing the timber, there will be harvest and it can create a, a revenue stream. If you labor under the impression that you have to have a sizable track of land to actively manage it or to partner with some of these other conservation groups, that's just not so. Since working with this team and learning from them, it's, I've been so impressed with, with how much we can do through active management that's the same as, as Mother Nature would have, would have managed this ground. This little place isn't a tree farm and it's not a hunting camp. In my eyes, it's just another member of the family. A lot of sort of landmark events in, in this family's life have taken place here and hopefully it will for a long time to come. <laughs>